Good morning. I didn't hear you. Good morning. There we go. Welcome to worship this fine, glorious, and a little rainy morning. I'm Tori Reamer. I'm the campus ministry intern. And it is great to be with you all this morning and to celebrate as you begin your season and before you travel out to Wisconsin tomorrow. But before we begin this worship, I'm going to touch just on a couple quick announcements. The first one is thanks so much to Tom Witt over there for being our chapel musician this morning and for filling in as we await our new chapel musician. And as far as the chapel schedule next week, there will be no chapel on Monday because of Labor Day. So you can still worship, but just not here. And then on Tuesday next week, President Paul Pribenow will be sharing a word on living into courageous curiosity. He wishes he could make it today, but he's currently at the, in St. Paul at the river sending the boats out that way. And so now let us begin worship. God has made us in their image. Each tendon and muscle is made in the image of their kingdom. Let us move with grace and power. Let us give thanks with each breath and the blood that pumps through our veins. Let our acts and movement serve as a reminder that the divine has made all things good. Amen. I know for a fact that more of you can sing than will admit to it, but if you can't or won't sing, at least you can do is clap. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise right now. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise right now. Treat everybody right. Treat everybody right. Treat everybody right. Treat everybody right, right now. Treat everybody right. Treat everybody right. Treat everybody right, right now. Bridge in the great divide. Bridge in the great divide. In the great divide right now. Bridge in the great divide. Bridge in the great divide. Bridge in the great divide right now. Fill in the world with love. 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 Right now. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Give God all the praise. Right now. Give God all the praise. God all the praise. Give God all the praise right now. Happy Friday, y'all. Today's scripture reading comes from the book of Mark, chapter 7, verses 24 through 37. From there, Jesus set out and went away from the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. 
that he could not escape notice, but a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syphrosesian origin. She, be, she be, begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, for saying that you may go, the demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech and they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him aside in private, away from the crowd and put his fingers into his ears and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said to him, Ipathah, that is be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one, but the more he ordered them, the more zealous they proclaimed it. They were astounded beyond measure saying, he has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. Good morning. Uh, thank you for clapping. Or, well, first, thank you for reading, Marcus. And thank you all for clapping because that's encouraging him, right? Amen? Amen? That's right. That's how you support your brother. Amen? Amen. I don't hear you. Amen? Amen? There we go. So, again, thank you all for joining us in chapel this morning. I'm Pastor Babette Chapman. I, I am your university pastor, and I serve alongside Pastor Justin back there on the camera. So, this morning's text is about healing, but it's also about other things. And so I'm just going to spend a little time with you, if that's okay, just sharing a little bit. So what we have is a preaching series. Every academic year, we start the year off with a series. And our series this year is Courageous Curiosity. And then in this text, what I found um, courageous and curious was that to be open, right? And so the word that Marcus said was ifata, that is be open. So say that with me. So we're gonna have a little dialogue, not monologue. Usually when you go to church, it's monologue. Whoever is preaching is talking at you, but we're gonna talk to each other just a little bit. So I said, and you said after me, right? Ifata, that is be open. Now, let's say it like you are courageously curious how I'm going to find this in the text. E Be Be open. So we have two healing stories in this text, right? The first is this mother whose daughter, it says, has a demon. Now, most times in scripture, when we hear demon, we go, ooh, that's scary. But the demon could just be somebody who has an attitude. Sometimes... I have a demon because sometimes I have an attitude and sometimes I need Jesus, right, to heal me. So this mother went, she heard, so it said she heard about Jesus and then she went to see if Jesus would bless her daughter. So when she heard about Jesus, she became curious. And with that curiosity, she had the courage to go find Jesus. And then she approached Jesus and she asked Jesus, to, to heal her daughter. And Jesus snapped, Jesus had snapped back. He's like, I ain't coming for you all. Like, it's not right to give crumbs to dogs. And this woman was like, yeah, okay, I hear you. But what the woman did, show him Jesus. Let's see. So Pastor Babette, love this movie. Don't I don't know. <laughs>
Thank you, Janice. That's comeback, right? You see how the coach came back? He's like, oh, you're going to do a coach like that? He came back. And that's what the woman did in this text. When Jesus told her that he didn't come to heal the, the, the dogs, she was like, yeah, but even the dogs get the crumbs. That's comeback. And her comeback got what she wanted. Jesus said, because you said it like that, I'm going to give you what you want. And told her, gone. By the time she get home, her daughter was here. Is that curious? Is that courageous? There's still more in there. So then we have this other young man, right? And it says that they, coach, it said they brought him, right? Who is they? Just some dialogue. Who you think they are? If you don't say it, I'm going to call you out. Okay, I'm going to be light on you this week. They are you. They is coaches. They is pastor and I. We, that's what we do. We go to the divine on your behalf, right? And so we go to the divine on your behalf. And the text said, all they asked Jesus to do was bless them. All they asked Jesus to do was lay his hands on them, right? They just wanted a blessing. They didn't ask Jesus to heal them, right? Isn't that curious? And because they had enough faith to take their friend, their brother, because it doesn't really say the relationship between they, right? And the man that couldn't, couldn't hear and had trouble talking. So they took him and because of their faith, right? And whether you have faith or you're void of faith, it doesn't mean that you're not surrounded by people who have faith, enough faith, enough curiosity and courage, right? To go to the divine on your behalf. Let me do it right down there. Right. And so then what happens is he gets a blessing. And the beauty in this text is that Jesus took him to the side and physically touched him. So he got the blessing. Jesus touched him. His ears was open. And, and in some ways, because his ears was open, I believe his mind and his heart was open. Say it again. Be open. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. I can feel it in the atmosphere. The spirit of the Lord is here. And then it says, I can feel the presence of the Lord. And we're going to get our blessing right now. I can feel the spirit of the Lord. And you're going to get your blessings right now. We invite you all to be open to letting, inviting, to be curious and courageous, to allow us to bless you all as a team, as leaders on this campus. You may not see yourself as leaders, but you'd be surprised how many of your classmates and even faculty and staff see you as leaders. And in that position, we wanna bless you specifically for your football season, but for this whole academic season, we want to bless you. So we want to thank you that you are the father. Be open. Amen. Y'all first line here, I'll sing it, the first half, and you just sing back what you hear. The second line, we all sing together, and it's always the same. So here's the first line. Open our minds to learn. You sing that. Open our minds to learn. Listen. Open our lives to live your calling. Open our lives, oh Lord. Sing that. Open our lives to live your calling. Open our lives to learn. Open our minds to learn. Together, open our lives.
Open our ears to hear. Open our lives to live your calling. Open our lives. Open our eyes to see. Open our lives to live your calling. Open our lives, Lord. Open our hands to serve. Open our lives to live your calling. Open our lives, O oh Lord. Open our lives. Open our lives. team uh, but are here to support and surround you with blessing and prayer so we w- I would love it it's going to be a big crowd standing up but I would love it if you all stood to receive this blessing so if the football team coaches uh, to receive the blessing from uh, we who surround you um, of course we wish you safe travels tomorrow and, and best of wishes uh, with in college tomorrow so a blessing is a circle a circle of light drawn around a person or a community or people to protect, heal, and to strengthen. And the beauty of this blessing is the belief that it can affect what unfolds, invoking the power and the promise of the divine. We offer this blessing for student athletes in our midst and those who mentor and guide them. Today at the start of the school year, This community together offers a blessing of the football team. And so those who are surrounding them are and need to even bless each other to raise your hands up in a sign of blessing for each other. Holy One, bless this football team program, its athletes, coaches, trainers, and leaders of our community, that together they and we may learn and grow in unity, respect, and mutual compassion. Keep these athletes safe and healthy during their practices, their training, and games as they navigate the rigors of this season. Expand the horizons of their minds through their academic pursuits and their studies, that they all may grow in wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Bless them to grow physically as they use the gifts and talents they have been given. Bless the coaches to be fair in their expectation of the players, constructive in criticism, and graceful in encouragement. Awaken the giftedness in each team member and build in them the confidence to show up, to be open, and to leave it all on the playing field holding nothing back. Bless them to be kind and fair to the opponents and to play with integrity and good sportsmanship. May they see every teammate as a sibling and every opponent as their neighbor. And finally, may these football players and coaches strive diligently and tirelessly to have fun, play hard, and do their best to be humble in victory and compassionate in loss. With With courageous curiosity, curiosity, we are open open to receive this blessing. blessing. Amen. 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 And now receive this final benediction. May the love of Christ surround you and open your hearts. May the spirit stir up dreams in you. And may the creator inspire you and provide you with peace. Amen. Go forward in this season, open, renewed, and excited. Thanks be to God. So coach, um, if you want, we have, Grace has a camera, if you would like a picture.